Hey, what's up, guys? Um, back again here. Uh, got a little uh, audio video here for you today. Uh, doing a rant on GameStop. I know this has been done to death, but uh, I was in one of their stores the other day, and uh, more of the same crap they have every time I go into one of their stores. So I just felt I'd come here and talk a little bit about what I dislike about GameStop. A little history, I guess. I've been shopping with GameStop since, I want to say, like 2002. I uh, bought my first PlayStation there for $100. Yeah, and right after I bought it, it went down to $50. So that's kind of my first story with GameStop. But I've been shopping with them ever since. Um, the main reason I've been shopping with them is they're really the only guy in town, retail-wise, to buy video games. Uh, and they have the best prices. Uh, Target, Walmart, their prices kind of suck on video games. That's not really their specialty. Um, and recently, Game Crazy, uh, owned by Hollywood Video, went bankrupt. So there's no Game Crazy anymore. So if really, if you want to buy games, you got to go to GameStop. Uh, my personal opinion, the best place to buy games is probably Amazon, just because they have the best prices. I know I bought uh, Red Dead Redemption for the PS3 right when it came out. I paid like $46 for it. They had a little sale going on on Amazon, so versus $59.99 they have in a GameStop. But um, yeah, so uh, I jotted down a f several things I dislike about GameStop. Um, I guess I'll start with the one I, uh, I don't really care about the most, but uh, I put it here anyway because it did affect me at one time. Uh, so, uh, refurbished systems. Uh, from what I hear, if someone brings in a system uh, to sell, GameStop just like turns it on and s just to see if the light comes on, and then they'll, they'll buy it. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, I bought an Xbox from them about a year ago, paid about fifty dollars for it, took the thing home, it was disgusting, sticky, dusty, um, the, the disc tray is very, um, it comes out, it comes out when it feels like it, it's, it gets stuck, you have to kind of wiggle it to get it out, and the system reads discs whenever it feels like it. I never got a chance to return it, so I, I'm stuck with it, but, um, it was full of save games. It was, it was just a piece of crap system, and they sold it to me, and I never got a chance to go back. But um, I think they should at least, you know, clean the thing up before they sell it. I mean, the thing was disgusting. And oh, and then the controller they gave me, the buttons were all stuck inside of it. I had to like open the thing up and clean it, and it was a hassle. It was, it was something they should have done before they sold it to me. Um, the next thing, uh, stickers. The stickers they put on their games. GameStop is notorious for their stickers. They don't put just one sticker on a game. They like to put like four or five. And I know on the, the pre-owned PS2 games, they even like to put stickers, two or three, on top of each other uh, on the cover art of the game. So you, you're not peeling those off because you're going to take part of the cover art with you. But um, I had a... a Several weeks ago, I had an incident. I bought um, they had a sale. I bought a S Assassin's Creed for ten bucks. Thought I was getting something there. Uh, oh, I should add this. I was walking out of the store. I opened the game up, and there was no manual inside. I had to go back in and get that. They've done that to me before too, not giving me the manual or something. And I have to go back and get it. But anyway, I got home with the game. It had like three stickers on it, and you try taking these stickers off and they do not want to come off so you know I pull it off I'll have, I have half a sticker on there and the only way to get it off is to use Goo Gone so I, I you know I take the cover art out I put you know drench the thing in Goo Gone and leave it there for 10 minutes and try to wipe it off but then it kinda scratches the cover and it's just a huge hassle I, GameStop what do you do that you know I mean, 
they're telling us to everyone's telling us to uh you know go green and stuff why don't gamestop go green and stop using so many goddamn stickers jeez you only need to put one sticker on with the price you know people aren't stupid you know they don't need five stickers to see how see that a game costs 59.99 okay moving forward um the third thing on my list here i have um a annoying uh employee upsell mainly pre-orders Every single time you go into a GameStop, they say to you, Would you like to put $5 down on Madden? Would you like to put $5 down on this? Would you like to put $5 down on that? I've been gaming for a long time, and I've never pre-ordered anything. And if it's a game I've wanted on day one, I've been able to get it. I, I don't think uh, people are, you know, taking every copy of Madden 11 off the shelf, you know, and you can't get it. You had to pre-order it to get it. And, um... But it's just annoying, you know, and it's a stupid upsell, too. Because if I wanted to pre-order a game, I would have told the guy I'm going to pre-order a game. I'm not sure how many... Uh, I'd like to see the percentage of people that say yes to that question. I know, I was in there the other day, and this guy was just, like, just coming up to people in the store. Hey, you want to put $5 down on uh, Assassin's Creed and, uh, and get a... Uh, um, a code to to be a part of the beta, and you want to you want to put five dollars down on Medal of Honor. You want to put five dollars down on Madden. And every single time, the person was like, "No, no, thank you. No, I don't want to do that. No." So I don't know. I've I've never been in a store and seen someone say yes to that question. The answer is always no. So I don't know why they keep asking it. If I'm going to pre-order a game, I'll I'll tell you I'm going to pre-order it. And um, in whenever I do pre-order games, I pre-order on Amazon because you know I can get it you know, shipped to me that day, I don't even have to leave the house, so, that kind of pisses me off, so, uh, moving forward, I have the last two things here, the two things that piss me off the most at GameStop, so, uh, I guess I'll talk about, um, this one, this one really pisses me off, and, uh, I guess GameStop really can't do anything about this, so, um, this isn't GameStop's fault, but, um, it's more parents' faults, and the little thing I have here is little kids running around the store. I never, I don't remember running around a GameStop when I was little. I don't even know when they opened, but I know there's this thing now. I don't know with little kids just getting into video games. Like there's kids like like from like four to six. And every single time I go into a GameStop, there's like at least four or five of these little kids running around the store, like screaming at the top of their lungs, you know, mommy, 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 this, you know, and like just running and bumping into you, and like just, it just is so annoying, you know, um, it just pisses me off. I wish, you know, GameStop, an employee would go up to their parent and say, can you please control your child or something like that. I mean, yesterday when I was in there, there was this, this like, old lady that came in with, like, the, her, her, her granddaughter, I mean, grandson, and this kid was just, like, t screaming at the top of his lungs to play video games, and, like, this grandma was, like, just, like, saying yes to every, every year this little kid's demand, and it was just pissing me off, and, and I don't know, so I, I'm sure other people share this gripe. But, um, it's just annoying, and it makes shopping not fun. So, uh, and GameStops are, most of them, uh, are pretty small stores. They're very tight stores, you know. So, little kids screaming in that little tiny dinky story, it's just really off-putting. But, um, yeah. So then the last thing I have on here that, um, really sucks, that they do this all the time, and it's uh it's open new games. GameStop likes to uh, open new games and then display them on the shelves. So this has happened to me several times where I'll buy a brand spanking new game, and they'll they'll I'll give them the case and they'll pull out one of those flimsy envelopes and put the disc in the case. And I'll say to them, don't don't you have a shrink wrap copy? And they, their excuse every time is, oh, well, we only had a few copies left in stock, so we had to gut it. Total bullshit. Okay, if you want to put the game on the shelf, just take a DVD case and print the cover and put it in. 
and put it on the shelf. You don't need to gut the game. Because when I buy a new game, I want a new game. I want a disc that has never been touched, and I want it to be shrink wrapped. Because they they pull the they gut the game. They pull the uh, the disc out with their you know greasy fingers and put it in the disc in the um, the paper sleeve, and it gets all scratched. And that's not a new game anymore. That's a pre-owned game. That's a game. That's a used game to me. That's not new. So and then the the, the manuals get folded and stuff and. And then they put a little piece of um, round tape on it, and if if that seal is broken, the game you can't return it anymore. It's already opened. But it, they did the same thing. They've opened it. So so if you break that seal, the game's not new anymore in their eyes. So you can't return it. But it, which is a joke because the game was already opened in the first place. So I never ever ever buy new games at GameStop. I don't think I ever have. Um, if I'm going to drop $60, I'll just go to Target and get a, a legitimate shrink wrap copy. Not one of their, uh, oh, we have to gut it to put it on the shelf. Bullshit. No. No, I, I ain't doing that. Once you open it, the game's used in my eyes. So, there you go. That's my GameStop rant. You know, I only shop with them because it's the only place. They're kind of a monopoly if you think about it. Because they're the only used game store, um, so you you know you're kind of stuck. I mean, unless you have a, a mom and pop record store, you know that sells games or something like that. You know, work. You know, everyone's stuck with GameStop. You know, so I don't know. Maybe a new game store needs to open and uh, fix some of the problems that GameStop has. But you know, these are just my little gripes. I'm sure I don't work at a GameStop. Um, uh, if you've ever heard Silent Rob's GameStop rants, they're much worse than this. So, uh, from what I've, they're worse from the stuff I've told you. But anyway, these are the little things that bother me about GameStop. And they happen every single time I go in the store. So, um, there you go. Um, last thing I'll say, uh, would you like to put $5 down on Madden 11 today? If you do, you'll get an unlockable game code when the game comes out.